Hey guys, welcome back to another tarot reading. Today we will be discovering why are you special in the sense to your person but also in general. So it will be more applying to one specific person who you can imagine. And let's start. Uh, you have three pals as usual. We have justice, magician and strength. So pick one of these and we will check justice, magician or strength. Pal, one, two, three. So let's start for those who chose this justice. Why are you special to them? Why are you special? <clears throat> so the reason why you are kind of special to this person is I mean, for people in general, but for this per person specifically, we have nine of swords uh, and three of swords is nearby, in a way. So you are special to people because you feel like safe haven in a way. You don't trigger them. Uh, at least you don't trigger them in ways which are uh, destructive for them, is what I'm sensing. This is the reason why you are special and you even have something... Uh, in your essence, in your attitude, in your demeanor, uh, which kind of calms their anxiety. So this is why uh, you're special. Also, you make them more playful about life. <coughs> and even I'm hearing more, more playful about uh, their pain and experiences that they have been through. So true. So there is something very. It's almost like you are boosting re their inherent resilience somehow. So there is that. I'm getting that this person uh, is learning from you a lot. And specifically when it comes to the art of detachment. So this is also the reason why you are special to them. And uh, especially uh, this serves them well. In order to just transcend some of their past, uh, how do I say, scars. So that's something interesting in this one because I feel like this person didn't have it the easiest in specific aspects of their life. So this is why you are uh, special for them. So there is that. Then we also do have the high priestess reversed and justice underneath. So this person finds you incredibly transparent, incredibly... Uh, simplistic, minimalistic with them. I don't know, there's just something uh, about you which makes them live their life in a simpler uh, way, on simpler terms is what I'm sensing. Perhaps you're somebody who believes in Zen uh, of Buddhism, you know, uh, and just the simplicity of everyday living, uh, doing certain acts, uh, just breathing, so this person finds you very inspiring when it comes to how to focus on the essential in their lives. So there is something about that. You're special to them because you open them a lot about the uh, esoteric knowledge. <coughs> As you see, we have a tarot reader on this one. So uh, perhaps this is somebody who was skeptical toward tarot or astrology or in general esoteric sciences but after meeting you I'm getting that they got very curious about uh, about when it comes to what's going on with that 
uh, is there something beyond our senses? I do feel like this was a very highly logical, rational person whom you made, uh, whom you kind of made believe uh, that there could be something more uh, than just what we see in a way. So, I have Saturn in third house. It's almost like you taught this person how to be less impulsive. <coughs> less impulsive in their speech, in their uh, gestures, how to be more thoughtful, more empathetic, because Saturn is all about restrictions. So uh, they kind of learned from you that in certain instances it's better to keep quiet uh, than say something that will potentially cause a lot of turmoil down the road. So. Uh, for some of you, you could be special because you abandoned them, because the way they were acting was just, or behaving was just too stressful for you. So maybe they had a little bit of entitled uh, trait to their character and you kind of taught them that uh, nobody is irreplaceable. So there's that. Hey, but if you dig this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. I just think that you <coughs> kind of made this person pay more attention to the small creatures like kitties and small animals, uh, I don't know why, and to be more uh, giving toward those somehow, some way. It's all after they met you that they became kind of less oblivious to their surrounding. So there is that. And then with Mars in third house, uh, you're special for a lot of you because you kind of stood up for yourself in some some uh, communicative way, uh, shape or form. Maybe it was a gaze, maybe it was an angry gesture. It was something that you did that made this person really consider their actions and how they behaved. So and that's the reason why. I don't know why with Saturn uh, second house that I have the placement here. I do feel like this person, after meeting you, they beca became much more frugal, uh, and you kind of may may have made them reconsider their spending habits. For some of you, uh, maybe you're somebody who likes living a frugal life, or uh, you have really good uh, expenses control or management and this is something that they kind of uh, I don't know perhaps didn't see with previous partners or crushes things like that so yeah I would say that they caught some pretty impressive traits here we also do have the Jupiter in Cancer so this person thinks that you are special uh, because of the abundance of your knowledge. Jupiter in Cancer, uh, more often than not, can show somebody who has multiple colleges, multiple educative uh, degrees, you know, just somebody who is a lifelong learner. Because <coughs> that's where Jupiter kind of gets exalted and so uh, you kind of get the best of its traits, which is knowledge, wisdom, uh, wisdom from experience, things like that, so... Uh, that's something that's really intriguing for this person. Let me see. Hangman, reserve. I do feel like this person feels like you're special because you don't keep yourself stuck. Uh, or nobody can keep you stuck in a way. If you don't want to be present in certain set of circumstances, you will... Uh, withdraw, detach, five swords, reversed, uh, the notes that you aren't really somebody who will injure uh, a situation where there was there's no justice for you. So you're special because you didn't chase them. Uh, it's something that I, I was getting for a lot of uh, them. So there is that. If you had a kiss, share the kiss with this person, you're special because they felt you were an amazing kisser, there's something related to that. There's something related to their, to your family, uh, which is really kind of distinguishing you somehow in their eyes. Perhaps it's a 
more eccentric type of or of family or there's some sort of shared interest there uh, that you all guys have so yeah i just feel like this person and people in general feel like there's a lot of interesting traits to you and how progressive you are and orientated toward uh, the future just you know you like to keep past in the past and not really be bothered by it if you have left the situation once there's no returning uh, in general mostly not always of course but like in 99 percent cases for you guys so uh, and they know if they have left that they can't return so this is the reason why you are special for this person yeah, but I feel like I'm gonna conclude it here uh, for this pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one too. Bye bye. Let's go one. For those who chose this trend card. Let me just see. Why are you special to this person? So for a lot of you, uh, you're special to this person because you have the good ability to handle delays with this tree of one. So you're somebody who uh, not only can endure delays, but you also thrive in them. So if this person made you wait or uh, there was a little process to get in with them or something like that, uh, they just loved how they didn't didn't per se feel didn't feel rushed uh, by your presence by your way of acting so you have high priestess reverse which is at the same place uh, as in the previous pile so you may resonate with that one as well uh, yeah but uh, you are special to them because they are uh, keep they keep discovering things that are really benevolent and powerful about you and uh, it's kind of uh, the stories that other people uh, or the news that other people uh, can tell them about you are all positive. I mean, when it comes to your character traits, I'm not saying that you, all of you are having a perfect life currently, but uh, it's just that this person is hearing some really amazing and elevated opinions of the others around them. Uh, about you and this is something that's really making them think a lot about you, about you or something and I also feel like this is a person who is incredibly chased incredibly uh, how do I say I'll just say that people break their backs so we're trying to get with them but for you guys you seem unfazed by them or you seemed unfazed in one specific phase uh, so you're special to them because you could be the only one that's not obsessed uh, with them or something like that but you're open to it nonetheless with the Ace of Cups uh, this denotes for sure for sure uh, that you have shown uh, kind of enough 
of yourself, but it's not in a needy, not in a possessive, not in a uh, claiming type of way. So, yeah, I just feel like this person found your attitude very refreshing, very inviting, very uh, courageous and bold, but also at the same time subtle, if I can say. Just that perfect uh, blend of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, but also with a pinch of somebody who enjoys just, that, just a tad too much, in a way. Oh my God, this card is so happy. And your accomplishments, your, um, I don't know, uh, just everything that you keep achieving with your ambition, with your drive. Uh, they feel like you have more drive than the average person to maintain a certain pace about your career so that's something that they feel like is very special about you then with the Rahu in Taurus I feel like this person feels like you look expensive or like you spend a lot of money on your clothes mm, on the on that how you look in a way but you also have the Jupiter in first house so uh, when I'm sensing strongly in this way one. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> they feel some sort of strange blend of uh, like mature individual with the youthful spirit, and so it, and it's almost like they can predict which side they will get uh, each day, and uh, they are being kept on their toes. Is what I'm sensing. So this is the reason why you are special to them. Then we do have the Mercury in Aquarius. This person is very interested about your uh, friend circle and there's something about your friend circle they could be feeling like you hang out with younger people or uh, people who are just so universal so worldly so you can have a lot of foreigners also uh, as your friends and for some of you they will be more on the traditional side and this is something also that's peculiar or interesting to this person especially if you have some sort of personal eccentricity so there is that but with Mercury in Aquarius you are uh, special to them because they don't get you they can predict you uh, the way you think about things is it's almost like they wish you would explain some concepts of yours more or something uh, similar to that. So that's the vibes that I'm getting. Hey, but if you dig this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. Yeah, uh, I also feel like this person finds uh, you as somebody who is happy whether they are there or whether they aren't in a way. So... Uh, Yeah, I will just say that uh, this is something, I feel like this person is used to codependent partners and you have a lot of kind of Aquarian Capricorn vibes to you and <coughs> for some reason this is uh, really working with this specific person. You could be special to them because you are somebody who has certain physical practices to get into the alpha meditative state so that's something that I'm getting then also with Mars and fifth house they feel like competition is fierce when it comes to you in a romantic sense they just feel like uh, you can't sleep of your admirers so that's something interesting you also do have the tours in second house which is denoting to me uh, that this person finds you specifically special because of the way how you maintain yourself and your family. You can be the sole provider in your family or the main provider, something along those lines. Uh, let me know if that resonates for somebody, but... <coughs> Sorry guys about my uh, throat. Yeah, but we do have the South Node in Libra. This person feels like you are not impressed by the physical beauty or physical appearance. I don't know, especially for some of you, I feel like this person can look like the most gorgeous queen or king. 
you know, and you are somebody or one of the rare person that didn't turn around for them uh, on the street or something. So, yeah, I would say that they are pretty amazed by you. Then, then there's also something about your hobbies, about the things you do in your pastimes, what I'm sensing. So, uh, you could be a person with a lot of hobbies or a person with interesting hobbies that really maintain you and uh, are like your life mission. So, that's something interesting when it comes to this pile. Yeah, this person feels like you are a very... Uh, person how how would I express this a person abundant with uh inner content in a way so they feel like there is a lot uh to you whether you show it or not and that you have a lot of uh, fans and followers six of ones it could be somebody who has following or uh can be in general you're quite popular with the folks uh and I'm I'm getting you're popular with the, uh, how do I say, ordinary people, normal people, everyday people. So, perhaps you are always followed by somebody in the street or uh, you can talk to all uh, age spans equally. So, this person is very fascinated about how you... How easily you talk to people, maybe to them, but also to other people that they meet on the street and something like that or people flock to you uh, for some reason there's something about your energy if you are interested in tarot especially like her tomancy uh, they also find that very intriguing because we have this card on the pick I don't know if you can see it so it's a very curious and interesting pile and there was something very shocking to be this person about you. Maybe the fact that you like them more, the fact that you notice them. Uh, and just the idea that you always feel so very fulfilled, no matter what the circumstances are. They would really want to know your recipe for remaining serene and... Uh, how do I say... Um, in some sort of state of mind, which is like... Uh, untouched in a way so they almost sometimes feel, feel like you are uh, too good to be true you know so there is that but you are very job that gorgeous for this person just your face features are something that they constantly admire last turn on and if it, if this is not platonic one then then they always kind of compliment compliment your physical appearances where I'm sensing so, um, yeah, I believe I will end it here uh, for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this small report. If you did, see you in the next one. Too. Bye bye. Magician, for those of you who chose that. So I can't believe this. We have reversed high, high priestess in all three piles uh, at the first place. So this is incredibly... So pile 1 and pile 2 also had this card here. And it's amazing. I mean, I can't believe. Maybe you want to listen to those, but I never had this before. <coughs> this never happened. 
So why are you special to this person? You're special to them because you made the first move on them uh, and chase them a bit for some of you. So that's something that's coming up strongly. You're special to them because you let them go with the Ten of Swords. Uh, for some of you, this person feels like this connection failed uh, at the last uh, battle, in a way, basically. But they want to restart this with you. You're special to them because they want this connection to be restarted. So, uh, I'm getting that you're special to them due to something that they have found out, found out online. High Priestess Reverse is something being revealed world is online this can denote Instagram because world is my Instagram card but uh, doesn't have to be magician is also YouTube in the uh, card my card for YouTube so some of you can have YouTube platform they know it somehow uh, or they have found out so this is the reason why you are special to them in a way uh, because you have your own platform and they are amazed that your talents at talents at maintaining those is what I'm sensing. So we do have the nine of wands reversed. Yeah, I feel like this person feels like you're special because you made them open up to a certain extent or uh take off the barriers. Uh, that they had against you so there is that that you did you kind of put up certain certain sense, sense of boundary uh, to this person it can be because this situation was just too confusing seven of cups they never gave you clarity it was too much in the air uh, it was never a grounded type of a con connection so there is that with mercury in Aries uh, you're special to them because you know how to put them in their place in a way. With Mars in third house, you are more than not afraid to express your opinion, to be soldier, general-like about it. If there is need, if uh, there is demand for something like that. Uh, you are special to them because you taught them something about the interaction with friends. Uh, or I would say they emulated something from you when it comes to interaction with their friends. Perhaps you are the mom or the dad of the friend group and now uh, they also like that trait and they adopted that uh, as their own. Of course, this is just an example, but uh, there is that. So, yeah, they, this person just feels like there's something royal about how you... Uh, how do I say, about the set of personal standards that you have for yourself and that nobody can shatter. You're special to them because you are potentially more dominant in this connection, whether you are a guy or a girl. Uh, if this is LGBT, then you could be the top. Uh, and they didn't have a lot of such type of partners or something along those lines. And if this is just classic type of relating, as I said, you have much more of personal dominance than they, than they expected in a way. You're special to them because of, because of how you treat all people, uh, about how generous you are toward them especially. So there's something about this in this one. Yeah, but this person just feels like you have some sort of, um, how, how, how do I express this, um, some sort of high education to you, which can't easily be, uh, <clears throat> nobody can outdo you basically when it comes to your education, when it comes to how much you read, <clears throat> how learned you are in a way, so there is that. I also feel like you're somebody with Ten of Cups and Magician who does a lot for your family. So it's kind of everything you do, you do it for your family, for the uh, benefit of the people that share a household with you. And this person is really proud about basically how you go about your family life and 
you could also be the rock of your household or something along those lines. So, like everybody comes to you for potentially advice or financial support. That's something that I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting that you are special for this person, a lot of you, because you open, open them somehow more for the physical and sports side of life in a, in a way is what I'm sensing so that's something interesting yeah I do feel I feel like this person kind of stops you a lot uh, and whenever they do so uh, they get more and more amazed by something you do but I'm getting that it's kind of revealed high priestess reversed means revelation it's kind of revealed in subtle ways, in the things that uh, slip from you or uh, just the level of your knowledge and the wit and uh, that mercurial intelligence that you possess. It's kind of evident and obvious from the things that you say in a, in a very nonchalant way, not even intending to sound smart or anything similar. Just... So, let's see, we do have the Jupiter in Aquarius, and so what I'm sensing with this one, uh, this person feels like you're somebody more advanced than your uh, age and time, so you, you are something like Nikola Tesla, uh, if you know the scientist, I mean everybody knows him, um, but in a way, they almost feel like the con concepts that you are studying now or that you are teaching, learning, trying to comprehend is something that the uh, your peers, not peers, but people will be grasping like 200 years from now or something. So they see you as somebody who creates new paths for the... Uh, progressive future minds is what I'm sensing so there is something about that in this one yeah I do feel like this person admires you a lot um, this could have been somebody with whom you may have had some sort of eternal delays we have page swords twice which both denote delays uh, ten of swords is here perhaps they were undecided for too long or something, um, but you basically didn't allow it to. So for a lot of you, it will be like you were like, okay, if that's how we will go about things, I won't participate or something like that. So yeah, I'm getting for a lot of you, your person isn't a relationship type. Perhaps they are solo type of a person or a loner. But you kind of opened, opened them to wanting these ten of cups in a way. So, mm. yeah, I feel like this person feels like your presence in their life was cathartic in some way, shape or form. Uh, especially if they had like commitment issues, uh, avoidance, attachment style. So there is something correlated to that in this one. And I'm also getting that you are making this person enjoy food more, enjoy life more in a way, enjoy their senses more. There's something about this Ten of Cups card. Uh, perhaps they are a very mental type of a person and you bring them back to your body in some way. Uh, so, but I'm going to end it here for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, I'll see you in the next one too. Bye-bye.